What's up guys? So we're here at Echo Dragway in Jersey. Uh, we're here for our second day of testing tune. Our first day we ran uh, 159 mile per hour, but 10.6. So we broke the beams accidentally uh, before time. So today we basically just want to follow that up. Pretty excited. Hoping to run a bottom nine or hopefully even break into the eight. So yeah, we're here and let's see what we do. going on everybody welcome back to another video so if you watched the last video you would know that we're back here at the track again today uh, here in Akron New Jersey and we're trying to go fast so I don't really want to say what the car is going to do we think we know what it's going to do but we're just going to check the front half a couple times and see if everything's good and then we're going to send it so I have OB over there OB is going through the data and you know uh, dressing up the tune a little bit we got the car fueled up all the fluids are checked, everything's ready, new harness is in because our old ones were outdated and we are ready to rock. So yeah, we're gonna get up there and make a pass. Like I said, uh, we're just gonna one, two, maybe let out, dial in the 60 foot and uh, you know, get the front half of the track right and then we'll, then we'll run it out the back and send it. So hope you guys are excited as we are and stay tuned to see what happens. Alright guys, so that first pass it spun pretty bad, but uh, Obi and I went over the logs and we changed a couple things, so we're planning on, you know, it's spinning a little less. We also believe the staging brake could be a culprit because it was still running through a bit and uh, it could have took me off a preload of touch, so I'm going to work on that. I did, I adjusted it. So I adjusted the staging brake to give me more throw, hopefully that tightens up the rear brakes, 
and we worked on the tune as well, so this pass we should have a much better 60 foot. So yeah, we're gonna go get our side pass now and see you guys after that. One five, one five. One five. Alright guys, so things just keep getting better. Um, we took a you know, 156 60 foot, we took that down to a 152, and everything else got better along the way. So we believe that it's go time. So we, uh, we didn't do too much more on the bot, you know, the front, front half, but we added a touch up top of third, had a little bit in fourth to have a little buffer there. And we think we have any check of pass on our hands, so we're gonna give it a shot, see what we can do. And uh, she's just cooling down right now. Everything's good. Check tire pressure, fluids. You know, went over everything, and we're looking good. So, really excited here. Uh, I don't know what else to say. It's nerve-wracking. It's exciting, but you know, I'm trying to skip the nines. So my best pass is a ten, maybe a ten four with this car. But you know, my single cam went a ten six. So I went from a ten second to an eight second, and it's just insane to think about, really. But yeah, I'm really excited. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying so far, and this is it. here we are um, as you guys just saw I made a bit of a mistake a very big mistake and I two three two it you know uh, I like to say things happen and laugh about it but the truth is things do happen people make mistakes I'm not perfect I did what I did you know I learned from it and try to move forward 
still trying to figure out exactly, like try to pinpoint what I did to make me do that. Um, you know, my mind wasn't obviously in the right place or something wasn't right, made the wrong move, held the shift the wrong way, something was wrong. But either way, it is what it is, can't change it, just got to get back out there, get behind the wheel. And I'm able to do that, lucky enough, because Obi from Speedy Tuning still wants me to be the driver. So I'm very grateful to have that opportunity. It means a lot to me because not many people would have this second chance after this. So that's really cool. But I um, have the car behind me here, as you can see. Um, you know, started pulling it apart to check damages because what showed on the logs was uh, after the 232, it saw 13,000 RPM and lost oil pressure immediately. And the car ran for a little bit after that my fault so we didn't hear anything transmission shifted great everything seemed okay so we wanted to drop the pan check bearings and go from there so what I found so far was the bearings um, are worn but no serious wear no serious pieces or carnage nothing like that the uh, mains I haven't gotten to yet so but the rods look good the pistons look good looking up in there the oil pump is cracked right down the middle so that's going to be getting changed. Um, but I have the oil pan here. Um, there's a little bit of, you know, flaky glitter inside there. And here are the two bearings. And like I said as well, no like crazy, crazy wear. Um, the worst was up in this corner, I want to say. Sorry, give me a sec. Um, I can get it to focus. Why can't you focus? Yeah, you can see that little bit of material that's scratched away at the top. That's about the worst of it. So, so far it seems like we're in pretty good shape. Um, everything else looks good. Like I said, we drained the fluid out of the transmission. And that as well was just a little glittery, but nothing uh, nothing crazy. No chunks or pieces. So, the training shifted fine. The motor still sounded okay. So, we're going to stick some new bearings in it. New oil pump. And we're going to, you know, heat cycle it a couple times. Change the oil a couple times and see how it holds and check you know oil pressure vacuum and the overall life of the engine try to get an idea if it sounds okay and we're going to send it back at the track next week so that's the game plan moving forward um like i said i don't know what else to say other than let's try not to let this happen again and get this car into the eights because it deserves it it should have gone it twice already if you ask me once you know uh I guess kind of both times it was my fault, but I disagree with the first one. Um, you know, rolling through the, tr the beams, I, I don't necessarily think that was my fault, but this, definitely my fault, no question. So, moving forward, let's go fast and not break the car. That'd be nice. And yeah, hope you guys stay tuned and enjoyed watching, and see you in the next one.